Hi guys, we're going to do another video today uh, from our clinical anatomy series. And this is the big question for this video. Is there a function to the appendix? Everybody knows, at least familiar, familiar with the appendix. Is there a function and purpose to the appendix? So that's the question we're going to answer today. Real quick, let's remind ourselves uh, anatomically of where the appendix is located. Um, at this area, and I'm sure not going to try to draw the whole thing out, but the appendix is on an area of the large intestine. Okay, this being the large intestine, it would be in the region of the large intestine, or at least attached to the region of the large intestine that we call the ascending portion. Okay, but specifically, it'd be on the very start, very beginning of the large intestine, in an area referred to as the cecum. Okay, so right before the cecum, just so we know we're on the same page, we would obviously be uh, in the small intestine, and there's actually a little valve here that separates, you know, small intestine. Uh, just write it out here. Separates the small intestine from the large, and this little valve is referred to as the ileocecal valve. Okay, so the appendix is located right here. Just kind of draw it out here on the cecum, so it is technically on the large intestine, not the small, but it's really at this juncture, okay, between the small and the large intestine, again, on the cecum. So this would be our appendix, okay? And the question is, does it do anything? I can tell you, I've taught anatomy, anatomy a lot of years, and there are old, older books, I should probably tell you something about the answer here, there are older books, that used to say that appendix was vestigial structure, or the appendix was uh, basically had no function. Vestigial refers to some remnant of basically the past, some evolutionary remnant that basically doesn't have a function anymore. Uh, it is not accurate to call the appendix vestigial. Okay, um, the appendix also, uh, you know, again in, in, in older anatomy books they said again no function, but Yes, the appendix does have a function. It is there for a reason. Again, it's not accurate to call it vestigial because it has a purpose. It has a function, okay? It had a function from the beginning. So the question is, what does the appendix do, okay? It is part of an organ system in your body called the lymphatic system, okay? It's actually part of that organ system. What is inside the appendix? It actually has lymphocytes inside. Okay, a lymphocyte is a type of WBC, a type of white blood cell, okay? It houses lymphocytes, and because lymphocytes are white blood cells, many of you might know that it has an immune function. So the appendix is actually part of your immune system. It is located in a key area, because you notice it isn't a, a, a key area in that juncture between the small and large intestine. It is there to fight infection, okay? Now you say, well, that's kind of weird. I don't believe it, whatever. I mean, uh, a lot of people may have a hard time believing this. I promise it is in the textbooks now this way. Our current textbook teaches it this way, and it is true, um, but just to kind of show you or show you some more proof, we have other lymphatic system structures just like it in other parts of our body. Best example is the tonsils. The tonsils are part of the lymphatic system. They're filled with lymphocytes, okay? And they too are part of the immune system. And of course the tonsils, many of you guys know, are in the pharynx. We've got three sets of tonsils, you know, pharyngeal tonsils. Uh, we've got the palatine and we've got the lingual tonsils. Okay, they're all in what we call the pharynx, the, 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 the throat area, okay? They are, again, in that key area, why? To fight infection, okay? So that's the purpose of the appendix. It is there to fight infection. Now, just like the tonsil, we know this. The uh, tonsils can sometimes get infected, okay? Their job is to fight infection, but they can become infected and they can become chronically infected to the point where they really don't get better, and what do we have to do? We have to take the tonsil out, 
okay? Same thing with the appendix. The appendix is there to fight infection. It too can uh, become infected and se severely inflamed, and it too might need to be removed if it basically becomes dysfunctional. So yes, you can live without your tonsils or live without your appendix, but you are dealing with a lymphatic organ, or at least a lymphatic tissue, okay? So just a little bit of information to understand the anatomy better. As always, good luck and good study.